Hi everybody, how are you doing today? Uh, I welcome everybody to my channel guys and today I would like to unbox one fragrance. I'm holding in my hands one of the few few fragrances from uh, Fragrance World brand. So for example this one is uh, Barakat, Barakat Satin Oud. I haven't opened this perfume guys yet so I will have to do it. Uh, one day but it's not going to be today it's not going to be today guys uh, also i have um, barakat rouge 540 which is supposed to be dupe for that uh, baccarat rouge thing this one will be my third dupe uh, that i have uh, one of them is i have zara perfume Mm, and then I have um, another one by Latafa, Anna Biat Rouge, which uh, is a very nice perfume. So I will see, guys, if this one would be good as well. So you have those, guys. And then I have Mocha, Mocha, Mocha perfume by the Fragrance World, which I haven't unboxed it. And the one that I unboxed it already is uh, Amir Al Oud by Fragrance World, which happened to be very, very strong and not very wearable. But today, guys, today's topic would be ba Barakat Amber Eve, which is due for Maison Francis Cordesjon uh, Grand Soir. And I don't know why, mm, mm, kind of, mm, I really want to see what it is. I kind of, I have a feeling that this perfume could be very nice to, to wear. For that reason, in between of those, you know, I chose that one. So we will, we will open this perfume. I will read the notes. I'm not familiar with this perfume. Uh, I just hear that that Grand Soir by that Maison Francis de Jean perfume is very nice perfume and everybody likes it. Uh, I assume it could be something very cozy, but I assume that, guys. So that's the packaging. I ripped it off, guys. We can take it from the box. It's a kind of golden type of thing. Let's see how we will open it. This seems like a little bit too luxurious for me, you know. It seems like a bit... Uh, I'm not used to these type of packagings like this that are a little bit difficult to, to unbox and they just look golden and nice you know so once I take it off this one you will see something that would be in the white packaging so let's see what it is so mm -hmm. so we took it off guys so I have white packaging and this one is golden packaging so mm, let's see how it goes I don't know um, once we open it in this this box we see something like that and then and then guys I simply have it already so Barakat Amber Eve uh, those bo bottles remind me of, of the real Baccarat Rouge perfumes bottles you know kind of I never had something like this before and basically, I assume that I, you know, hopefully you will like it. It's really beautiful, isn't it? Very, very nice. This type of pretty, 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 pretty type of, uh, you know, bottle like this. So that's my first perfume that I unboxed, you know, from this type of Barakat line. Uh, I heard that many people really, really likes Baccarat Satin because they say it's not actually overpowering. They say and lasts really long and, and it's very nice. Everybody likes it. It has like a rose, perf rose type of note, you know. And then some people doesn't like Baccarat Rouge dupe, you know, which is this one. So we don't know, guys. But uh, what I will do right now is I will just simply spray it on myself. But before that, we really have to get in those notes just to see what it is. Bak, bak, barakat. Barakat Amber Eve Grand Soir, basically, that was supposed to be similar to Grand Soir. And then, so um, let's go into those notes at the moment. Um, barakat, 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 here we go. Let's see what it says. I couldn't find much on Fragrantica actually about this perfume. It's a light, delicate fragrance. The Barakat Amber Eve uh, evokes smoothness of silk and the soft touch of Labandum Cistus. Labandum. With notes orange, benjoin, siam, natural, oud from India. So some kind of oud from India. And uh, has a mysterious oriental charm. So amber, cedar, musk, tonka, vanilla. Amber, Labandum Orange, Amber, Musk, Tonka, Vanilla, mm -hmm. interesting, so so basically there must be some kind of like a citrusy notes and then after supposed to be 
some kind of maybe ambery type of notes, maybe sweet, sweet type of notes. I will spray it, guys, and I will see if it's going to surprise me or what it's going to do, you know, for my type of uh, taste. Let's see how it goes, guys. Let's see. Don't feel anything. By the way, guys, before I spray, I want to tell you that my scent of the day was Oud 24, 24 Hours by Ardell Zafran. And I felt very good today wearing this perfume. You know, I, I was a little bit outside today and I felt like um, maybe if people feel this perfume on me, maybe they would feel pretty pleasant because I felt pleasant myself. So this type of floral type of notes that felt, you know, there's Ilang Ilang in this perfume and, and other floral notes that really made me feel very good by Ardell Zafran, this perfume. Very nice, guys. My scent of the day. But let's try this one. Mm -hmm. A little bit feels luxurious <laughs> to me. Very luxurious. Let's Let's see guys how it is the sprayer like everybody say like the spray is very nice so maybe i spray one more mm -hmm. mm. wow guys i i like it I like this perfume guys, I immediately say I like it, a little bit of uh, alcohol is kind of hits at the moment, really could feel those amber, amber notes it reminded me wow it's really nice guys very like amber notes mixed with citruses which are so so elevating citrus amber vanilla and other notes that i am not familiar with maybe is that labandum i don't know benjoin i'm not never 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 kind of um, seen in my perfumes that i have these notes yet so i'm not familiar yet but Really, that type of amber, so, do you know guys, Ragba, Ragba perfume, it a little bit reminded me of Ragba, but this one is uh, less uh, ambery as Ragba. You know, Ragba, I have it over there, guys, um, perfume, and I really like that one. So that one is very ambery, the best ambery perfume that I have, but at the moment, this perfume really, so what's good about this perfume is that amber notes mixed with citrus, like orange, you know, there is orange there. Uh, citrus note so basically makes this perfume not as heavily ambery let's say if amber is too much for you and if you want a little bit more sophisticated type of ragba you know so this one could be <coughs> the one really pleasant I'm getting a little bit n nose blind at the moment but but you know nose blind but I really think this perfume will be liked by me I, can, I really can see spraying it, you know, on myself uh, anytime, anytime. I can see myself spraying even like, uh, like let's say when you want to go out, pretty much anywhere, and if you want to want to smell sophisticated, you, you could really use this perfume. You would be more sophisticated than Ragba. So let's say if you want a sophisticated type of Ragba, Ragba you know, mixed with citrus and some other notes, uh, you could really go with that one. It smells more expensive than Ragba, you know. Need to spray more, let's see, guys. It's, it seems to be very... Maybe I will spray over here. Let's see. Mm. Really, it's pleasant, guys. I would say... I think... This perfume is feminine enough, but also a man can wear it too. You know, it's it's not overly floral. That that light type of light weighted amber, which you know can make a man wear it too. I I really could see in between. You know, really like it's so. It's a, it's kind of really bit intoxicating, guys, and a little bit addicted, addictive to smell. As I always says, as I always say, guys, simply not many perfumes I like from the first spray, but this one, uh, let's say Dirham Bardi, I liked, you know, by Ardell Zafran, but this one I like from the first spray. It's completely different to the, my first perfume from the fragrance world that I bought, which was this uh, um, was uh, Amir Al Oud, uh, you know, a perfume by Fragrance World, which is not very wearable for the daily, daily, you know, for the everyday life. But this one is really wearable, wearable and plus very nice. Not sure about what's going to be the projection there, you know, what type of scent bubble it could be. But I can see there must be some kind of scent bubble. And I believe this perfume is supposed to make you feel nice and supposed to really make you 
kind of feel elevated with amber notes elevated by citrus and make you feel luxurious and something that is really grabbable this perfume because i really like this perfume i kind of have a feeling that i will also like that barakat satin oud once i will open it in the future and really happy very happy guys to try this perfume it was a blind buy all of these perfume guys were blind buys you know for me and this one some of them were, as I said before, kind of uh, more leaning towards masculine, which made me kind of not uh, being able to wear them. Like, for example, that Latafa Naja perfume, like I wasn't able to wear because it smelled uh, masculine. But this one is just right in between, you know, everything, everything is there, like super happy, guys, to have this perfume. What is it similar to, as I said before, similar little bit to Ragba by, uh, by Latafa but this one seems to be much um, better much better a very nice case very pleased by all the situation so as much as i was pleased with the let's say oud 24 hours wearing today I felt very sophisticated with this perfume so as uh, you know the same way i will be very pleased to wear this barakat uh, barakat vibe barakat barakat uh, amber e which is dupe duped to that grand soir so very happy all these perfumes guys gives you some kind of elevated feeling you know elevated feeling different way like let's say midnight oud is different you know and then this one is different casablanca is different all these perfume give you some kind of vibe that makes you feel different every day very happy I think this perfume is uh, um, addictive, could be addictive one. Uh, you will see me talking about more about this perfume, but at the moment I'm very pleased by it, very, very pleased by this perfume, like very positive type of experience of the first impressions. I will be back to you soon, guys. I wish you to have a nice day. Do you have any fragrance wall perfumes yourself? Have you seen this perfume before? Like, do you maybe have that real version? You know, that real version of uh, Maison uh, Francis Cordesan perfume? Do you have any of them? Is it worth buying? Because this one, like, it's already, like, this one is already, already guys, uh, worth buying, in my opinion. So that's all, guys. I wish you to have a fantastic day. Like this video so you would see me on your, you know, when you sc scroll on YouTube, you would see me again and uh, see you soon. Bye-bye, guys.